I always see the things that Debbie makes and I'm always like, oh my gosh, brilliant. Paint sticks, okay? You get a package of three for 98 cents. A couple of these helps you turn into, uh, with a little bit of work, can turn into something this awesome. Yep. So Debbie Hernandez is here. We're here at the Home Depot and it's, it's you're making it look really easy. It is really easy and this is the project for uh, this month's Do It Herself Clinic, which is uh, as we know, the third Thursday of every month mm -hmm. at 6.30. And what you're going to need for this project is, like you said, two packages of the five-gallon paint sticks. And then you're going to need a one-by-four, which is very inexpensive, and uh, some chalk paint for so you could write what herbs they are, and then some stain or paint for the rest of it to make it how you want. And then your herbs or whatever you want to put in here. We were talking about this could be used for herbs, it could be used for veggies, it could be used for... Uh, flowers or even you know little I was even thinking like succulents. putting mason jars in there and using them for pencil holders markers for the kids absolutely it's it's just a fun little uh, caddy that we're going to show you how to make so the first thing you're going to do is cut um, all your materials okay. and um, so with the paint sticks as you can see they have a handle on them at the top and it's mm -hmm. got a little bit of a concave on each side so you're going to be cutting off that top portion um, and we have all the dimensions. Um, we're going to have them on the website and also at the class tonight. Okay. Um, but you could alter this to any dimensions that suit your needs. Like you'd have to make these uh, one by four pieces a little wider if you're going to put mason jars in there. Gotcha. So depending on what receptacles what you you're going to put in there, okay. you want to alter your dimensions. Then you're going to stain or paint it. And we're just using some regular stain. And here I'll give you a stick. And you're just going to use this foam brush. And, you know, very simply, um, just you're going to put it on there and then you can take uh, just a paper towel after you get it off. all stained. And you can also use my famous staining pads if I you know, want. I love those staining pads. <laughs> all right. How am so I doing So once here? you're doing awesome. Okay. And these are very absorbent because they're uh, a pine material. And then once you get all your stain on, you're just going to oh, wipe it that. off. It still keeps And it. it's going to give the grain. That is cute. Now the back side, this is fun. Um, also, but if you want, the back side is plain. Without the so you, yeah, okay. Or you could even dip your uh, rag in and just stain like this. So you can do it however you it's like. It's more of a wash, It's right? more of a wash, okay. very simple. It's a little bit of a lighter finish. And you can really do this with anything. If you have leftover paint in That's your it. house, anything you got. Right, and All then right. the top slat on the uh, front side is going to be chalkboard paint. Now what's really exciting, we've had chalkboard paint for a while in a paint on application, but now we have chalkboard paint spray paint, oh, which makes it a very even, easy. very, very opaque and really works well. So how long does it take to dry before you can actually use It's a very it? uh, matte finish, so it actually dries pretty quickly, nice. but you're going to use uh, multiple coats just to get it nice and uh, and opaque so that you don't see the wood through it and be able to uh, write on a chalk and uh, erase and write on it again. I'm all over that chalk paint that's in a spray can. Love yes. it. So now we've prepped everything. Yes. Coming up in our next hour, we're going to put it all together, show you how to assemble it. But if you are looking at this going, oh my gosh, I want to learn all the details, more of it, and we'll put all the info on azfamily.com. But you can go to any Home Depot. This is what's great. Every Home Depot, not just here in the Valley, but in Arizona, across the country, third Thursday yep. of every month, 630, and it's That's a it. do-it-herself project. So you'll learn how to make it, Olivia. I think we could do this together, right? We could learn if we learn from Debbie herself. <laughs> Those workshops go going on all across the valley too. Tess, thank you so much. The last hour we checked in with Tess who was starting to work on a vegetable caddy with help from Debbie at Home Depot. And we know she can do anything, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. So let's check back in with them to see how it's going along. Tess, how are we doing out there? I'm, I'm going to have a heart attack using a nail gun, but we're slowly getting there. It is a do-it-herself project. It happens tonight at every Home Depot across Arizona. You just show up at 630 and you're going to learn to make this awesome caddy that really can be used for anything. We're using it as a yep. planter caddy right now. Right, for herbs and veggies and mm -hmm. small things. Okay, so in the first segment, we told you how these 98-cent paint sticks, yep. you could cut them up and stain them, and now you have the sides of your crate. Right, you're going to need two packages of the five-gallon paint sticks and a one-by-four is going to really be the carcass of your whole uh, planter. And then we talked about staining it and painting it and making one slat uh, chalkboard paint so that you can identify what herbs are what for I those, you know. I love that idea. Some people idea. can identify them just by looking at them, but some people need a little extra something-something. <laughs> 
And then once you get uh, everything cut, stained, and painted how you want, then okay. you're going to assemble it. So we're going to have our two sides. And as you talked about, if you want to put mason jars or something a little wider in, you would adjust the size of your uh, one by four pieces, go to a one by six, or turn it sideways and it'll give you a little more width. Okay. So on the bottom, we put two slats for the base, depending on if you go with these dimensions. And then for the sides, we're going to put, we put one on the bottom, and then we're going to put our chalkboard paint one on the top. So, and we're going to use some protective eyewear. Okay, Tess is going to use it. Now I'm you're going to go try. down once. Push down once. Lift okay. up. Lift up. Lift up. And then, and then down shoot. and shoot. Ah! There you go. I hate that sound. When you use a nail gun, always safety first. Protective eyewear and watch what you're doing. That's the key. Make sure you see what you're doing. I, I, you mean I can't close my eyes the way I do, do that? Do not, under any circumstance, close your eyes when using a nail gun. That's all just right. a public service what? announcement right here. Um, oh. Once you get it all together, then you have um, your chalkboard at the top, and we have right here oregano. And this one I'm just going to write on here. This is the cutest this idea. This is basil. I love it. And of course, if you change the herbs, you can change whatever uh, identifier you have. And if you put other stuff in here, you can identify that. So now you know exactly what herb is what. So even when the kids are helping you or this anybody, they know idea. what they're doing. So all the instructions, the workshop itself happens tonight at 630. You can just show up. You can register online or you can just show up at any Home Depot. Yep. And Olivia, here's something foolproof. <laughs> Apparently, you can grow a garden in a can. Oh, Look at yes. that. Or in a jar. Or in a mason jar. <laughs> so, okay, you simply put better. this in, mm -hmm. you add water, and your garden will grow. Ooh. That's it. Supposedly. Or you can get these uh, herbs. We have them on sale right now. Um, Perfect. For really cheap. Or plant your own seeds. Yeah, any too way you much want. work. Well, or we're just going to have Debbie do it. We'll <laughs> be Garden Guide 2.0. Seriously. There you